This Ace Magician mini PC was sent to me to test and review. Here is the box that it comes in. It does come with some hardware. So you've got an HDMI cable and then you also have power supply. It is a low powered mini PC like most, pretty good. So it's got mounting hardware as well if you wanna put it on a TV or monitor. The mini PC itself is a little bit bulkier than most mini PCs I've seen, but you've got speaker, mic, USB-C, USB 2, USB 3, your, your power button. On the side, you've got plenty of ventilation. Then you've got two more USB, HDMI, display port, two LAN ports, which is really nice, and then your power. And then again, on the side, you've got plenty of ventilation as you do underneath. So I did try to open it up to see what I could upgrade, if anything, and it looks like it was manufactured and designed not to be open up. I was not successful getting it to open, but I went ahead with the installation, normal Windows 11 setup. It does have Windows 11 Pro, super nice. And there you go, so I've got loaded for the first time. The specs on the computer are consistent with the Amazon description. I have a script that I always run on my computers to get software installed. So I ran that for a couple hours just to get all this software downloaded and installed and set up automatically. So I could run some benchmarking tests on it. So I did run Geekbench to test out some of the scores. Nothing too impressive, but more or less what I would expect for the specs that it has. Here we're running a benchmark for some gaming and you can see it is quite choppy. This is not a gaming PC, but for something like multimedia, I installed Kodi on it, ran that just to try it out. That ran just fine, no problems there. Another thing this is really good for is just multitasking, opening up a lot of programs all at once. I also went into the BIOS so I could boot to Ubuntu. Tried Ubuntu on it, that worked just fine. All of the drivers for Wi-Fi worked just fine as well. Pretty decent Wi-Fi speeds. So after having tested this for a few weeks, it's basically a decent all around mini PC. No, it's not a gaming mini PC, but for most other things, it would work just fine for opening documents, browsing the web, multimedia. It's gonna be just fine. You're going to be able to open multiple programs at once and it's going to run smoothly. It does have 16 gigs of RAM. Overall, it's really good. So some of the unique things that set this apart, it does have quite a bit of USB ports, which is nice, but it also has these two LAN ports. So if you wanted to set this up as a router, firewall, put PFSense on this, you could do that. Might actually be a little bit overkill, but PFSense would run really well on this mini PC. I didn't experience any issues or driver incompatibility. Overall, it worked as I would expect. It is a good mini PC, great option for multimedia, putting on the back of your TV, on a monitor, or just to have a spare computer around the house to do things on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.